Welcome to this very special Lever service. Unfortunately, we are unable to come together in person this year, but we are able to come together through this special medium. This service combines contributions from across the Mansfield community, both spoken and through music. And I would like to begin this service with a reading from Dorothy McRae McMahon. Our community is like many lights from a great stream of people, generation after generation adding to each other's light, warming each other's life, setting each other free across the boundaries of all our differences, creating in between the brave and gracious light of human community. This is a poem called Sharingan. When we go, if we go, once it's gone, it should all hold fast in a high third of gratitude, in the pit of our palms' promises, to recognise the faces, here or elsewhere, day or night, rain or shine. Because what is friendship if not memory, if not a walking against the wind? What is affinity if not pretending? The history is a kinder kind of unfolding. We each share in the bleaknesses of February, of the final June. In rowers breaking dawn and in dawns breaking through. And we will each share in, for as long as we can, the fragility of sharing in what's worth being shared. To my fellow leavers of Mansfield College 2020. Thank you. It was brilliant. Hello everybody, it's uh, Johnny from the MCR. I just want to say congratulations for making it to the end of your degree. Um, I know that some of you have been here for a long, long time and it feels like the end of an era, um, whereas for others of you, um, you, I mean, it feels like you've only just started and it seems such a shame to be leaving already. Um, but life would be very boring if change never happened. Um, so I'm sure whatever you continue on to, um, you'll have a brilliant time still, and I hope I'll see you back at Mansfield very, very soon. Good luck with the future. Usually we say to students at this time of year, when we have the, uh, our farewells, um, come back and visit us. It will be lovely to see you again. I want to say that this year to your group of students more than any other year, 
because you've missed some Mansfield hours and you should come and recoup those. So um, come back and visit us when we can all be back together again and come with your groups of friends and we'll find some occasions to do that but also just drop by and see us. Um, you haven't really left yet um, and you haven't had the chance to do that and we are literally missing you already. Goodbye. Seeing for a moment by Denise Lovertov. I thought I was growing wings. It was a cocoon. I thought now is the time to step into the fire. It was deep water. Eschatology is a word I learned as a child. The study of last things. Facing my mirror, no longer young, the news, always of death, the dogs rising from sleep and clamoring and howling, howling. Nevertheless, I see for a moment, that's not it. It is the first things. Word after word floats through the glass towards me. Here we are, the Leavers' service, a moment to come together to reflect on the sense of an ending. When you look back from my great age, you may find that the time you've spent at college seems remarkably short. But for such a short time in the scheme of a lifetime, it's incredibly informative and intense. And you may find that not only the friendships and bonds that you know will endure for the rest of the li your lives endure, but ones that you hadn't thought of, or ideas, or reflections, or experiences, perhaps even arguments that you've had, which come to be an important part of who you are. So I want to thank you all for being part of this special college community, a community of people committed to learning together and staying together and looking after each other. Particularly want to thank Sarah, our new chaplain, John Oxlade for the enormous and long-standing and beautiful contribution he's made to the chapel and college music. John, we're going to miss you and hope you're around um, a great deal in the next academic year and years to come. I want to thank the choir and other members of the chapel community the JCR and the MCR benches and the academic staff and the non-academic staff. This is a real community, it's a special place. But I didn't really want to say this into an iPhone, sitting on my own in a study is a strange way to convey this message. I wanted to talk to you in Chapel Hall. I wanted to have drinks parties with you on the lawn. I wanted to watch you come back with that special glow of the adrenaline of finishing exams with your friends. And I know it's hard that your year hasn't had that sense of an ending, the first Mansfield generation not to have that. So I want to make the commitment to you now that we will have um, a celebratory weekend for this special class of 2020. And we will party and we will celebrate and we will reflect. So please make that commitment now to yourself and your friends and to me that you'll be there if you possibly can. Now, the end of your time at university as you come towards graduation is a very peculiar moment in anyone's life. It's an inflection point. You're poised on the end of a diving board, about to dive into the rest of your life. And that's really exhilarating. But it's also terrifying, I know. And your generation has had a very difficult way to end so many troubling things happening in the world. And yes, there is prejudice, and yes, there is illness, and there is fear and worry about the future. But in that Pandora's box of things that are going on, there's one more thing, the one thing that Pandora almost didn't notice, and it's hope. And I have hope because of you. I gain hope from how you've looked after each other through this difficult crisis, even when you've been apart. I gain hope from the bonds you've made in adversity 
this historic generation. I have hope because of the rebirth of the civil rights movement and your determination for the future. And I know that whichever field you go into, you will make a difference to the world and it will be a difference for the good. And I know that we will always think of you as a special generation of Mansfield students because of that. I wanted to finish um, by talking to you with some words from Maya Angelou, poet and civil rights activist. She said, my mission in life is not merely to survive, but to thrive and to do so with some passion, some compassion, some humour and some style. And I think those are the things my Mansfield students have, passion, compassion, humour and style. And so I wish you well as you set off into life. I wish you to keep in touch with us and may you thrive. I know you will.
like to say thank you on behalf of the choir for John's contribution to music at Mansfield. John has put so much care and thought into every rehearsal, recital, chapel service and concert during my time at Mansfield. So much of this was evident just through the music, not only the virtuosity of his playing and his direction, but in the detail he put into choosing great music that reflected the themes of chapel services or tied a concert together. John, I can't express how grateful I am for everything you have done for the music in college, as well as all you have done for the choir and me personally to help us grow as musicians and performers. I can't imagine the Oxford experience without being a member of your choir and experiencing music at Mansfield, which has given me many memories and friends to treasure. So again, on behalf of the choir, thank you for everything and all the best. This is a reading from Philippians. Not that I have already obtained this or have already reached the goal, but I press on to make it my own because Christ Jesus has made me his own. Beloved, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but this one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press on towards the goal for the prize of the heavenly call of God in Christ Jesus. Let those of us then who are mature be of the same mind. And if you think differently about anything, this too God will reveal to you. Only let us hold fast to what we have attained. Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honourable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence and if, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing these things that you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, and the God of peace will be with you. Thank you to all who contributed to this service, and we wish our leavers the very best of luck, and we look forward to welcoming you back to Mansfield in the not-too-distant future. And now we end our service with a blessing. May the Spirit bless you with discomfort at easy answers, half-truths, and superficial relationships so that you will live deep in your heart. May the Spirit bless you with anger at injustice and oppression, the exploitation of people and earth, so that you will work for justice, equity, and peace. May the Spirit bless you with tears to shed for those who suffer so that you will reach out your hand to comfort them. And may the Spirit bless you with foolishness to think that you can make a difference in the world so that you will do those things which others say cannot be done. Amen. <laughs>